LG. They have a 4K resolution and the image quality is surprisingly good considering you can see directly through any pixel that isn't fully illuminated. And the fact that transparent TVs work at all is fascinating from a technology standpoint. But in practice, if you're just gonna put it against a wall so you can just see like the wood paneling behind it, doesn't really feel like the best use case. But now here in this use case where you put the transparent TV as a barrier between rooms or something like that, things definitely get a little more interesting. But the fact of the matter is right now, if we look at the backside of a transparent transparent TV, we can certainly still see artifacts of what's on screen, but the vividness of the picture from the back is way less clear than from the front. So again, I think they're still trying to figure out the actual use case of these, but I do think they'd be really cool in museums or on like storefront windows, anywhere where there's an actual benefit from seeing through the glass while having something else being displayed. Okay, so this looks like a normal everyday briefcase, but inside contains an entire TV and monitor. Having this would totally make me feel like an undercover spy. You ever see those anti-theft briefcases? concepts from the 60s where if someone else tries to take it away those giant prongs like stick out so you can't actually move it it seems like you might actually want that tech built into this briefcase if there's gonna be a thousand dollar tv inside of it ultimately it's basically a super fancy version of a portable monitor but i, I don't know it's kind of neat were you guys aware that segway makes things other than like the standing segway scooter device I wasn't. For example, they have a robotic lawnmower series. Hey, little buddy. They also have these Segway e-bikes, which definitely makes sense in their uh, demographic. 